Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you from the media booth overlooking the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And it's a Friday afternoon, and people all across the world, they're waiting to see whether or not the House are going to pass the American Health Care Act. And they're also waiting for 4 o'clock, because it's nearly that time. The markets, they're about to close right behind me. You know what time it is. Let's get this weekend started. It's happy hour in the Big Apple. Now stocks, they're rising this Friday as investors await the House's vote on the American Health Care Act. The vote, which was originally set for Thursday, was delayed after Republicans failed to secure enough support for the bill. The House now scheduled to vote sometime today, Friday. Adding to the health care hype in a tweet, President Trump this morning saying, after seven horrible years of Obamacare, skyrocketing premiums and deductibles, bad health care, this is finally your chance for a great plan. Keep in mind, the House vote is crucial for the Trump agenda. Trump has said the repeal and replacement of Obamacare must happen before action can be taken on his other plans, which includes tax reduction. Meanwhile, on the economic front today, durable good order is rising 1.7% in February, above the expected increase of 1.2%, and the IHS market manufacturing PMI read hitting a five-month low of 53.4%. And with the U.S. dollar little changed against its counterparts, you have yourself a session where the Dow Jones is inching higher, approaching the closing bell. Let's take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out not just this session, but this very volatile week as well. And with that stated kickback, relax, and I'll see you guys all Monday morning for the weekend. Enjoy it as much as you can. It's supposed to be warm in the tri-state area, possibly a little bit of rain. But hey, warm is better than freezing cold. For Modern Wall Street, I'm James Swinney.